This is why you struggle to undo a compound clip in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you the top three ways to undo a compound clip and what to do when Final Cut won't let you break it apart. Next, I'll show you the way professional video editors make compound clips. And be sure to stick around till the end because I'll show you three different ways to use compound clips that will take your editing game to the next level. The fastest way to undo a compound clip is to just use Command Z to undo it. So I just made this compound clip. I'll press Command Z to undo it and you'll see it broken apart into the three different clips. But what happens if you want to undo a compound clip you made a long time ago? No problem. Select your compound clip in the timeline and then go up to clip and select break apart clip items or just press shift command G to break it apart. And you'll see that compound clip has now been busted apart into the three different clips. But what happens if you don't have that option? If you go out to clip and then try to select break apart clip items, it's grayed out. I can't select it. What do I do? That's because the compound clip that you've selected has been retimed and it can't break it apart if it's been retimed. So select your clip, press Command R to bring up the retime editor, then click on this button right here and select normal. It'll put it back to normal speed. And now with the compound clip selected, I can go up to clip and select break apart clip items or use the keyboard shortcut, Shift Command G. To make a compound clip, you need to select the clips you want to put in there. In the timeline, you can click and drag to select multiple clips. You can also select your first clip and then hold down Shift and select all the clips in between. You can also hold down Command and select different clips that you want to include in your compound clip. But the fastest way I found is just to click and drag to select your clips. Then go to File and select New Compound Clip or right click on it and select New Compound Clip or even faster, press Option G. Give your compound clip a name select the event where you want to save the compound clip and then click OK. And now we have a compound clip. And you can tell it's a compound clip because it's gray and it has this compound clip icon in the upper left corner. You can also make a compound clip right in the browser. So I have these three clips here of some airplanes and boats. And so I'll select those clips. I'll right click on it and I can select new compound clip or I can go up to file new and select compound clip or like before I can press option G to make a compound clip. I'll give it a name planes and boats and I'll select the tutorial. I can also adjust the time code if I want and I can also change video settings for the compound clip but I'll just use automatic settings and it will base it on common clip properties. Then I'll press OK. It looks like it hasn't done anything, but it has created a compound clip. If you go to your browser, look for this section called No Data, and you'll see a bunch of compound clips in here. In fact, you can tell it's a compound clip because of this icon right there. So we can see here I have the iguana clip that I made earlier. And if we go down a little bit, here's our planes and boats clip. Double click on the compound clip you made in the browser to open it up, and you'll see that it's put all three of those video clips one after another in the compound clip. If you want to find your compound clip quickly from the timeline in the browser, just select it, right click on it, and then select reveal in browser, or press shift F to quickly find your compound clip. You'll see it highlights it here in the browser. You can also go up to file new and select compound clip and give it a name. We'll call it empty compound clip and then press OK. And now I have this empty compound clip. If I double click on it, you'll see there's nothing in there. I can go into my browser and I can find clips that I want to add to it. I'll just drag and drop it to the timeline and I'll confirm my video settings. Let's do 1080p and then press OK. I can add more clips as well and I can add titles and audio if I want. And now you'll see our empty compound clip is no longer empty. OK, to edit a compound clip, select it, go up to clip, and select open clip or click on the compound clip icon or just simply double click anywhere on your compound clip and you'll see it opens it up in its own little timeline and that's a great way to think about compound clips they're like mini little timelines inside your big timeline now i can edit my clips in here i can adjust my volume on my music and i can add effects to the video i can change the timing and move things around as well when I'm ready to go back to my main timeline, I can click this left arrow and it will take me back to the main timeline and I'll see the changes made on my compound clip. I can also click and hold on one of these arrows and I can select where I want to go. I can go back to my compound clip project or my voiceover project. This is called the timeline history and I can quickly navigate by clicking and holding on these arrows. I can also go up to view and select timeline history back or forward and I can also use command left bracket to go back in timeline history or command right bracket to go forward in timeline history. In a compound clip, you'll notice the boundaries. Here's the beginning of the compound clip and the end. Anything on this side here that's kind of 
grayed out, we will not see in your video. And the same for the beginning. So if you want this part to be included in your compound clip, you'll need to go back to the timeline and then click and drag on the end of your compound clip or the beginning to extend it or to shorten it. Oh man, compound clips are so helpful. If this video has been helpful, will you please let me know by giving it a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. In just a second, I'm gonna show you three advanced ways to use compound clips. But first, we gotta understand this parent-child relationship between compound clips. So compound clips have this parent-child relationship. When you create a compound clip, Final Cut Pro automatically puts it in the browser here, and that becomes the parent compound clip. And then you can use that compound clip in lots of different projects or multiple times in one project like we see here. Now, any changes you make to that compound clip will show up in your other projects or other instances of that compound clip. Let's take a look. So you'll see here I have two instances of that compound clip. But let's say I wanna change the title in this second one. So if I double click on it to edit it and then select the title and select my text and open up the inspector by clicking this button here, I can change the text. Now, if we go back to my main project, you'll see the text changed, but it also changed here. How can I change the compound clip without changing it everywhere else? In your timeline, select the compound clip and then go up to clip and select reference new parent clip. You'll see that it created a copy of that compound clip. And now this compound clip in my timeline is referenced or connected to that new parent clip. So if I go in here and I change the text, yes, please. And I go back to my main timeline, you'll see the text changed here, but it did not change on the previous compound clip. All right, here's a really clever way to use compound clip. I have this footage of some hikers and I want to zoom in on that, the hikers over the course of all three, but I don't want to add Ken Burns to each effect. So I'll select all three and I'll turn them into a compound clip, right click in the viewer and select crop and then select Ken Burns and then press done. So now I'm zooming in over all three clips. Have you ever wanted to change the animation timing of a title, but you can't do that? It doesn't have the options? No problem. Select your title, turn it into a compound clip, and now go to where the animation ends, right about there, and press Command-V to split the clip. Select the first part of the compound clip and press Command-R. And now you can speed it up by clicking and dragging to the left or make it longer or slower to the right. I wanna speed this up a little bit, so we'll go to 160%, then I'll click and drag that to line up with the compound clip where I cut it. And now the animation happens faster, but it still looks like a professional title. Okay, I have two clips here, and if I double click on the transition, you can see that I don't have any media left here or here. This is where the camera stopped recording, and this is where they started recording. And I'll press escape. I wanna add a transition here, but when I try to drag a transition on there, I get this error, there's no media to make the transition. Final Cut needs a little bit of media on each side to make that transition. I can click Create Transition, but then it does a ripple edit and it changes the timing. So if I don't want to ripple edit, what I can do is select both clips, turn them into a compound clip with Option G, and then move my playhead to where it changes, right there, and I'll press Command B to split the compound clip into two compound clips. Now I can add that transition in between and it doesn't do the ripple edit. It keeps the timing exactly as is, and then I can use a transition. Compound clips are perfect for combining different types of clips together into one, but sometimes you might need to separate clips. There are four easy ways to separate clips in Final Cut Pro. Check it out. 